This video is sponsored by Pupford. Today I'm gonna show you how to train lots of different tricks with Goldie the puppy. And do you remember when you were cute like that? You're still really cute. If you're new to training your dog, you have to have the right supplies. And there are a few essential items that everyone needs when training a dog. Pupford has just launched a training starter kit. The kit comes with their freeze-dried beef liver training treats, which are super high quality. I cannot recommend these things enough. They keep well at room temperature, so you can make sure that you always have them anytime and anywhere you need them. 450 treats, that's a lot of training potential in one bag. You also get this tug toy, you can reward them with it. It's important to teach them fetch, and tug of war is the first step to teaching fetch. Let go, get it. That's how tug of war should look. Finally, you get one of the most underestimated dog training tools that's really critical, a 30 foot training lead. Thank you Pupford for including this. This is the thing that everyone forgets about when training a dog. See, a lead allows you to teach your dog things at a distance, like come when called, or eventually how to teach your dog how to listen to you off leash. I'm gonna have a link in the description where you can get your training starter kit from Pupford. Sign up for my 100% free digital dog training class, 30 Day Perfect Pup, to learn how to make the most out of these items. If you've taken the course, tell me how you're enjoying it in the comments below. Click thumbs up for Goldie, the four month old golden doodle, cause she's back. And we're gonna do some fun training with her today. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and pick up a copy of my best selling book. Follow me on Instagram too, tag at Zach George. I'll have a link below. Tricks are an excellent way to refine and build sophisticated communication with your dog. And that will empower you to interact with your dog in the most natural way imaginable. Oh my goodness, Goldie, you need a lot of communication building. You can clearly see that Goldie is a pretty energetic four month old puppy. We're gonna start with kind of a challenging one. We're gonna see if we can get Goldie to speak or bark when we ask. I mean, this can take a little bit of time to teach, but I noticed that she vocalizes every once in a while, so I'd like to see if we can get her to do it on cue. In order to teach your dog speak, you wanna have something that they really want. I'm using small pieces of cooked turkey today, and you want to just kind of entice them with it until they vocalize as if to say, hey, I want that. I'm just gonna wait. This can take several minutes or even several training sessions, depending on your dog. When she just jumps up at the treat, I'm gonna ignore that. Even though she's offering all sorts of great behaviors like sit and lie down, I'm really ignoring those right now and I'm focusing on the trick that I wanna train at this moment, which in this case is some type of vocalization. You can just see her thinking. She's like, wow, what a puzzle here. I've gotta figure this out. Even if your dog looks like they're just thinking about barking, go ahead and reward them to give them that feedback. Good, did you see that? There was no sound, but she clearly is on the right track. Yes, good. That was really good. Yes, good. That one was a little bit louder. I could almost hear a bark in there. Yes, good. Oh, that was awesome. Did you hear that? It was quiet, but she did it. And now we're gonna give her a jackpot reward and we're gonna come to life and make things real exciting to let her know we like that. Now let's go for another success immediately. Yes, good, I'm still gonna reward even though it's not quite as loud. So I wanna keep the energy positive here and enthusiastic for Goldie. Yes, good. Yes, oh my goodness, that was fantastic. Speak, good. So now she's really getting it. The light bulb has completely gone off and I'm gonna withhold all rewards, at least for right now, unless she regresses, until she actually vocalizes and gives me a good enthusiastic bark. Speak, yes. Notice how I'm saying speak just after she barks and I'm doing it very deliberately. Speak, yes. Now let's see if it works, speak. Yes, all right, good job. It is common for dogs to start barking a lot once they figure out that gets them the treat. So get in the habit of not rewarding when they start barking when you don't ask for it. We've spent, you know, about five minutes, six minutes or so working on this now. Goldie needs to learn the obligatory roll over, of course, or play dead. We'll see which one she accelerates with. Now you might've noticed she, she's got a really good lie down. That's a prerequisite to this. Do you see how her hips are shifted over here? That tells me I need to go this way because I want to go with the path of least resistance. I'm just going to lure her. And look at that lure. Look how close it is. Do you see that? See, she's a little reluctant there to go into a rollover. And that's normal. A lot of dogs don't like going on their back at first. Now look at the hips. They seem like they might wanna go this way. So I'm gonna just go with whatever she gives me. Yes, I'm gonna reward that right there. I'm gonna actually stop and reward her right there because that's farther than she's gotten. Good. 
She's so lanky and klutzy at this age. As she's being lured here, I'm actually letting her nibble microscopic pieces of this big chunk, and I'm letting her really just kind of nibble ever so slightly at it to really keep her enticed by it. She's really roll over. That was really good. Can we go back the other way? Goldie is just such a high energy dog that doing training like this is really giving her something to do and it's satisfying her brain. Yes, and this can really over. help your overall training because even though it's roll over and speak that we've been working on, that's really helping us understand her and learn about her. She's getting to know how we communicate. So that's why these are great. This one's a really easy trick that most of you ought to be able to teach your dogs in a single training session, really. Let's see if we can teach Goldie to spin around in a circle. With spin, initially, it's something like this. It's a real obvious lure. You'll find that spin will evolve into something like that, a faster lure, until eventually you can just say, hey, spin. But that's probably gonna take a few training sessions, so we'll not press that one right now. So at first, you're just trying to get them to follow that lure, yes! Notice I'm saying yes the moment she really does what I want or even is on the right track. Yes! Of course, every dog needs good manners, so I think Goldie needs to know how to shake hands. I've trained Shake in so many different ways and I have no idea which method Goldie is gonna respond to. So let's find out. She'll need to be in a sit for this. She's trying all the tricks. She jumped that time, so I'm not gonna reward. I'm looking for her to just lift one foot in any way that she wants to. I'm gonna actually keep her up here because she has a tendency to want to lie down. So I'm gonna keep her up here. I'm gonna see if she moves her paw in any way. Yes, right there. She just lifted that paw. She was attempting to kind of jump up or something, but I preempted it by jumping in with that yes and saying, hey, I like that. It's common for a lot of dogs to pick up their leg and try to claw it at your hand if it's got a treat in it. So that might be a good, yes, right there. That's what I'm looking for. So keeping it right about here so it's easy for her to lift up her paw. You see that? Shake. Very good. And I'm kind of ever so slightly opening my hand to reveal a little bit more of that turkey every time that she succeeds. That way I can give it to her instantly. Yes. Even though it was the other paw, I'm gonna go ahead and reward there. Now I'm closing my hand again. Yes. Let her nibble. Good. Yes. Now I'm gonna say shake when she does it again. Shake. Shake. Good girl. Let's do something a little more crowd pleasing maybe. I'm gonna take her leash off for this one. Goldie, I suspect you are an athlete at heart, so we're gonna see if we can teach you how to do an over. An over is where your dog jumps over something. In this case, it's gonna be my legs. You wanna be cautious when you're working with young dogs on athletic things like this, but this is low enough that I think it's probably just fine for Goldie, so right here, come on, come here. See how she's looking at me? She's a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this speak work? That's not what I'm looking for. Yes, over, good. And all I'm looking for here is just a nice enthusiastic effort to go over my legs. It's okay. Yes, good job. Since she's doing that so well, yes. Did you see how she put some jump into that one rather than just walking over my legs? Yes, oh, that was a great one, good girl. Over, perfect, did you see that? That was amazing. She actually started, oh, she did it again. These things get me really excited. She's demonstrated Over. many times now that she's able to kind of really put some pep Over. into her step. That one I'm not gonna reward on because she kind of climbed over me. Over, wow, boy, that's big air. Over, good. And you could kind of read her eyes there. She was really committed to it. So I decided to say over, over just prior to her jumping in order to really communicate wow. to her what that word means. Normally I wouldn't throw so much on a dog in literally one training session over. here, but she's doing so Our well, guess. her attention span's holding up. And I think that's in huge part because we're keeping things really positive and upbeat okay. for her and finding reasons to reward even small successes. But I'd like to see if she can learn how to crawl. Your dog's gonna need to know how to lie down. You can search my YouTube channel if you're not quite there yet. So we'll put her into a down. And again, we're just gonna kinda lure, look at this guys. Are you kidding me? Look at that. So I, I didn't even have a chance to explain what I was doing there, but let's see if we can do this again. I'm just luring her very slightly and I'm watching those legs inch along crawl. Good, now I wanna keep those back legs down. Good, crawl, good, and crawl. Excellent. And if you go too fast, you'll find that they come up. Watch, see if I go too fast, see how she comes up? That's what we don't want. That's why it's important to go really slow. Crawl looks fantastic. The actual real time of today's lesson was approximately one hour. We were able to keep that sustained 
attention from Goldie, which is really exciting. That's because I didn't get frustrated and I kept her from getting frustrated by finding even the smallest reasons to reward along the way. That's really the key to getting these long training sessions. Goldie really earned it today. Give her a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, get a copy of my audio book too. I narrated it myself. I'm gonna have a link in the description where you can get your training starter kit from Pupford. Sign up for my 30 day digital dog training class, 30 day perfect pup. I'll have those links in the description below. What tricks does your dog know? Show me on Instagram by tagging me, at Zach George. Link below. Goldie, I love you so much. You're a great dog. Whether your dog needs to learn basic skills like sit, stay, leave it, leash walking, come when called, and most importantly, how to listen around distractions, or you're struggling with play biting, chewing, jumping, potty training, or you struggle to keep their attention, the 30 Day Perfect Pup series will help you and your dog overcome these challenges and progress towards the perfect pup you've been dreaming of.